everybody welcome to the channel today I'm gonna do a little home improvement tips to help yourself around the house these carpenter bees if you're like me they beat the house all to pieces over the years and I got tired of them just just destroying all the woodwork but anyway I'll show you a little bit today about what I've been doing and it's worked pretty good I probably caught over a hundred combined in all these bottles here and I take them down in the late fall and put them up in the spring when it starts getting warm but uh, y'all stick around and I'll show you a little bit about these things now these old bees here they look like bumblebees but they're not they're, they're got a, almost a solid yellow back and I don't reckon they could sting you except for the females and they'll fly around the house all the time. And here's the bumblebee, what they look like compared to a carpenter bee. Bumblebee, it's kind of yellow on the back end and yellow on the front end. And a carpenter bee is just kind of yellow on the top front end of it. And you can see what they do to the house. They just destroy it, all the woodwork, year after year. And they go in there and as soon as they go in, they turn at an angle, right, and just zip out the side like they just do it like you know example right here what it looks like first thing you got to do though you got to go around and caulk all these holes up before you put your traps up if you don't they'll just go back to them guys these are pretty simple they've really saved the bees from eating my house up i got tired of getting up there and fixing holes anyway all these is it's just four by four pine post. Now you could use treated, but the bees don't like treated that well as they do just a regular. And uh, I'll uh, I'll include a drawing in this on how to make them and everything. But anyway, all they are is these regular old pot bottles. Clean them up good. Take the cover off of it. And basically. That's all they are in a hook, and you hang them. Now I have made these. You know, these, these work also, but they're too complicated to make. So, this right here is simple and they work real fine and they're easy to put up and put down. And guys, on this, on this drawing here, yeah, I'll show you a little bit about them. You can make them from three eighths up to a half inch. I made mine a half inch. So what them bees do, they come in here and they see this, they don't like it in here. Well, they can't see light because there's a shadow here. You got this at an angle. And when you got that at an angle, they can't see light because of that shadow. They just go straight down to where this light is into that bottle. And here's kind of the dimensions, and that's got a hook in the top. And you put your hook on your house where you want to put them. I put mine on the eaves in the corners. That seems like that's where they like to congregate the best. And uh, and uh, it catches, it does pretty good. They'll buzz around, but they'll eventually go in there. And the more it goes in there, the better, you, more you'll catch. Because once you get in there, them thermos, it tracks more. Now you could used to could buy that thermone bait, but I reckon the FDA outlawed it or something. I guess they try and protect the bees or don't want you to have it or whatever because you draw on a lot of other bees too besides that. But regular bees, you might get one old wasper in there or wood bee or something, but them carpenter bees seem to really like this. And you can see right here is what it looks like and everything. Here's the dimensions. Now this is a bottle cap. Now you can just put a, after you make your hole, just put you a, a, a cannon lid here with a hole cut in it, screwed to it, and screw your jar in it. But I just made mine with an old pop bottle or a Coke bottle uh, lid here. I just, you might have to ream it out a little bit when your hole gets fit and I just glued it in there with a hole in here. So. I thought this might help y'all, so I'll show you here how I hang them around the house here. Guys, I'm going to show you what I 
you try to hang these way up on the eaves of the house where you just, you, know, you don't want to get a ladder all the time. Now to set it up, you'll have to get a ladder and put your hook up there where you want it. Now what I've done is took a telescopic pole, hook them up in here. And uh, just took me a real stiff piece of wire, like this, like I got it, is like a piece of weld rod with plugs been off of it. Just clamp me a, uh, clamp it on here at the angle you want for your, uh, for your trout. Just stick it in the hole. Kind of get it at the angle you want. Well, there you go. You can take that way up in there and you can set it. But sometimes it's hard to hit the hole. You know how lucky are you? So you'll get it eventually. So I'll show you one of them. You just take these, you got your hook there, and you, you uh, There you go. You have to be patient, man. You just have to take a break if you can't get it. Some of these take you, you get them right off the bat, some of them take you 10 minutes. You'll have to rest two or three times. Or get a ladder out. There you go. Hey guys, here's some pictures around the house here where I've hung them. Inside corners, outside corners, around the long lengths of the house, anywhere like on the eaves, that's really, really, really like them at. And here's the drawing, and uh, I hope this helps you. So I thought I'd share this with you. Maybe it'd help you. If you live around a wood house, you know exactly what I am, especially if you live in a cabin. So thanks for watching.